So I recently experienced something that was just completely unexpected. And although I try to keep my head up and I try to look at the brighter things, the brighter side of things, it didn't really work out that way for me in the long run. Now to help you understand where I'm coming from and what really kind of happened, let me share a story with you. Years ago, Sarah went on a quest to trust God and she left a lot of things behind in her life and she sought after a new life. This time had been filled with so many different experiences, from good times to bad times and even some uncertain times. Recently, something from Sarah's past came to haunt her and she initially took it very well and didn't really waver too much, stayed excited, stayed on the mission, really kept her eye on the prize. She even decided in this moment she was going to pray to God and say, you know what, I'm not going to give up trusting in you. I'm not going to let this situation get me down. Well, that didn't last long. She had the intention to be positive and look at the good in all of it all, but after waking up the next morning, she just wasn't feeling the same sense of security in her faith anymore. Sarah started realizing how much the mistakes of her past were affecting her future. She started to feel guilt, she started to feel regret, a sense of anger started to come over her as she started reminiscing on all the things that she did in her past that she's now having to pay a price for. This quickly sent Sarah down a spiral of emotions, inevitably ruining her day. This went on for days. Sarah would wake up feeling despair, and she carried on throughout her days like a sleepless shell, numb to everything around her. She would eventually end her nights going to sleep feeling the exact same way. Then one day, after feeling too much pain, after feeling lost and confused, Sarah instantly gets down on her knees and begins to pray to God. God, I don't know what to do anymore. Feel like everything I try just doesn't work. The Lord spoke to Sarah and showed her that she can use the shame that she feels from her past mistakes. Know that God is not punishing her for it. And use that shame to move forward, knowing that he is with her and he never lets anything happen without purpose. This good news gave Sarah a sense of peace. And in that, she was able to see where she was lacking and some of the things she can do to better herself and the things she can do to better her future. You see, Sarah's constant struggles, they weren't meant to serve as a punishment for her. They weren't meant to come back and make her have to repay for all the mistakes she did and the made in the past, but it served as a wake-up call, a wake-up call for her to gain control of her life, like really have a deep relationship with Christ and be the vessel that God has ultimately created her to be. Hey guys, you know, this, this story resonates with me and I hope it does with you too because recently for me, I experienced something just like Sarah where something came up, man, and I just didn't understand why, but I definitely had the intentions to just be positive about it, to just keep staying in the faith and, and demonstrating that I wanted to be more than just a believer who believed by mouth and words but I really wanted to be a believer who believed by faith, man, who really put his faith to work. But the devil came in and he had me thinking so many different things. Because even though I was trying to keep the faith and trying to stay strong, what the devil does and he does it well, he comes to kill, he comes to steal, he comes to destroy. And he was trying to destroy my peace. And for so many other people, that's what the devil does. He tries to sneak in. Even when we mean well and we're trying to stay on the right path, he'll sneak in in the smallest way sometimes, just like Sarah, make you feel guilty for the things that you've done in your past, make you feel like you're the one to blame, 
make you feel like you're inadequate, like you're not enough, like you'll never mount up. Things will never get good for you. Those are the things that the enemy wants you to think. And that's what he had me thinking. And it was so quickly able to take me out of that faith. That's when I realized I had a wake up call that was necessary for me. And I hope that this story resonated with some of you and maybe given you that wake up call to make you realize that this thing with Jesus, man, we need to have an even deeper relationship. I need an even deeper one. So that way, in the moment, not always later at the end, but in the moment too, I'm able to see and understand the tactics and the sneaky ways, the conniving ways of the enemy. Grab captive and hold of it. Throw that thing right back down to the fiery pits of hell where it belongs because God doesn't give us the spirit of fear. He doesn't speak negatively to us. He didn't come to condemn us. He came to save us. So all those negative things I was feeling, it was the enemy's way. It was his tool. It was his plan to try to get me out of the race. But he failed. At the end, he failed. Just like he did with Sarah. He did the same with me. He failed. Got the realization that it's time to lock in, guys. It's time to lock in. Hey, I hope that this has blessed you guys. That is my whole goal here. Anything that you hear with God thoughts in this platform and with this particular uh, series that we got going on here, it's my prayer. It's my hope that these short stories, these uh, uh, topics, that they're blessing you guys, man, because they definitely have blessed me. It's just an opportunity for me to really expose a little bit about me, what I'm dealing with, and be a little bit transparent so that way what I'm dealing with could be something similar to what other people are dealing with and it'll help to know that you're not alone on this journey. Number one, you have God, and there's also other believers out here, your brothers and sisters in Christ, that are dealing and have overcome uh, some of the same things that you can be dealing with. So we come together, we're able to help each other. But that's all I got for you guys on this one. To the next one, bye-bye. Hey guys, real quick, if you click the link in the description, it'll take you to Amazon where you can get your own copy of my book, Matters of Life, True Stories of Pain, Forgiveness, and Resilience. This book is filled with true stories from real people's lives, giving you the opportunity to connect, relate, learn, and overcome whatever you may be dealing with in life. So click the link and let me know what you think.